Welcome back to Blender Daily. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the 3D models that you created with Blender to create an AR filter for Instagram. Let's get started. In order to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna use this barrel that I downloaded for free from polyhaven.com. I'm gonna put the link to this page in the video description so you can follow along with me step by step if you want to. Over here I chose the 1K resolution to keep the file size as small as possible and then simply downloaded it. Now in order to bring this barrel into Spark AR, which is the program that we're going to use to create the Instagram filter, we first need to export this from Blender. To do so, go up to File, Export and then choose the GLTF file format. Then simply give it a file name down here and if you want to, you can further customize the output settings over here. However, in this case, I'm just gonna leave everything on the default and click on export GLTF. Okay, so now we are ready to jump into the Spark AR Studio and start to create the Instagram filter. If you haven't downloaded it already, you can go to sparkar.facebook.com and download the Spark AR Studio completely for free. I'm also going to leave the link to this in the video description. Then simply click on blank project to create a new filter. And you can see that this opens up this new 3D workspace. We can navigate in here by dragging around with the middle mouse button, orbit with the right mouse button and zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Now before we bring in our barrel, we want to add a plane tracker to our scene. To do so, go to the scene panel, down here click on the plus, select the plane tracker and then choose insert. As you can see this rotates the camera and now we have this little plane tracker down here. Once we're gonna open this effect on our smartphone, the plane tracker is gonna recognize any horizontal planes in the environment, which will then allow us to place any 3D object on it. So let's now bring in our 3D barrel. So down here in the asset panel, click on import from computer, then select the GLB file that we just exported from Blender and open it up. This is gonna import the 3D model, the material and three different textures. Now in order to bring the barrel in, we need to select it and then simply drag and drop it onto the plane tracker in the scene panel. Now you can see we have it in here However, the material is a bit messed up as we don't get the correct colors. However, this is easy to fix. For this, simply select the barrel material down here in the asset panel and then over here under albedo, disable the vertex colors. And now the material is working properly. Okay, so now we can already send this effect to our smartphone in order to test it out. To do so, simply go down here and click on this test on device button. And here we get an error message because we haven't added any experience yet. So let's just click on add experience. Then down here, choose sharing experience and insert it. And now we can click on this button and the current filter will be uploaded to the Spark AR hub and you'll get a notification on your Instagram app which will then allow you to test the filter out directly on your smartphone. And as you can see, the barrel is now perfectly placed in the environment. The only problem we now have is that we are not able to move, rotate or scale the 3D object from within the Instagram app. Luckily, this is quite easy to fix. To do so, I already prepared a preset that you can download for free with the link in the video description. Once you have this file, you can simply drag and drop it into the asset folder. And now in order to use it, let's select the 3D object of the barrel in the scene panel. Then under transformations, click on this little arrow next to the position. This is gonna open up the patch editor and load in the 3D position of the barrel. The patch editor in Spark AR is similar to the node editor that we have in Blender. Now let's also bring in the scale and the rotation of the barrel. Then we can also take the preset and drag it in. And as you can see, this has three different outputs, one for the movement, another one for the rotation 
and one for the scale. So let's now connect the movement to the position, the rotation to the rotation and the scale to the scale. With this setup, this should already work right now and we should be able to control the scale, rotation and position of the barrel directly from within the Instagram filter. However, if you want to, you can customize this even more. So if your object now has a weird rotation, you can try to fix this by playing around with the X, Y and Z rotation values. Or if you want to change the default scale of the object, you can adjust the default scale value. I like to bring this down to 0.3 in this case, so that the barrel is a bit smaller. And then lastly, if you get some weird results when moving the object around in the Instagram filter, you can try to adjust the movement sensitivity in order to fix it. But now with all of this done, we are ready to test it out again. So go down here to test on device, and again send it to Instagram. And once you get the notification, simply click on it to test it out. Or you could also go down here and copy this test link, which will also allow you to test the filter. And as you can see, we are now able to move, scale and rotate the 3D object directly from within the Instagram camera. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun and could learn something new. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.